last night during the eclipse, we were talking about old beliefs that people had when they didn't understand why the moon was being eclipsed. And there's a lot of fear around those things. Well, the same thing applies to our own mind. A lot of things have power in our mind because we don't understand where they're coming from. If you watch them carefully, though, and this is where it's different from watching the moon because they have to figure things out using a lot of different models. And here we just learn how to look directly at what's going on in the mind. We see that a lot of the big tigers in the mind are really paper tigers. Greed, aversion, and delusion come on, and they seem really strong, and they seem to be firmly entrenched. A couple weeks ago I was talking with someone who had been taught that these were cosmic forces working through you, that when they came you just had to go with the flow. And it makes you powerless and fearful, because you never know when the force is going to come and what kind of force it's going to be. But when you realize that these things are coming from within your own mind, and that the cure is also in your mind, then it's not nearly as so fearsome. You can see, begin to see exactly, okay, this is why the greed comes, and this is why it gets aggravated, and, but this is what can be done to, at the very least, let it go for the time being. So it doesn't seem like some giant cosmic force acting in your mind. It's simply an instance of greed. One of the members of the committee, one of the members of the corporation inside the mind. And it doesn't have to take power, it doesn't have to be in control. It's through understanding that you can free yourself. That's why the Buddha said discernment is the important factor in the path. You can get strong states of concentration and the mind can be very blissful, very, very smooth, very clean, clear on the surface at least, but there are things still buried underneath. Unless, until you bury, dig down and find those things, they're going to still have some subterranean power. So make sure you try to understand okay, when things do come into the mind, what sparked them? When greed comes, was it incited by something outside, or was the greed something flowing from inside? Or was it a combination of both? Learn how to look carefully at these things, and you'll be able to sort them out. And when you understand them, then you can get past them. As long as you're not yet past them, okay, it means you still don't understand them. So watch them patiently and ask the right questions to see what's actually going on inside. So you don't feel like you're being driven around by cosmic forces. You're more in charge.